You're listening to 90.7 WGCC. You listen to the pregame show for today's doubleheader between the GCC Cougars and Monroe Community College. GCC looking to snap a set four game losing streak, but they got a tough task for them as Monroe Community College is on a nine game winning streak and have a seven game winning streak and has a nine and one overall. And let's go through the statistics. <coughs> and we'll, we'll see what GCC does it do to pull up a huge upset. Start out with Monroe Community College Terrapins. They are currently nine and one. They've averaged a four point three points per game, uh, forty four point eight field goal percentage, thirty six point six three point percentage, seventy two point eight free throw percentage, thirty seven point seven rebounds per game, and sixteen point eight assists per game. Their point per game leader is uh, Lanay Rodney with 21.3 points per game. <coughs> She's hit 71.4% of her free throws, 33.3% of her three-pointers, and 56.3% of her field goals. Second place is Sierra, Sierra Green with 19.9 points per game, 85.2 sh- um, free throws percentage. 42.9 three-point percentage, and 45.1 field goal percentage. Tori Cash comes in number three with 12.3 points per game. She's 30.7. She has hit 65.3 of her free throws, 37.8 three-pointers, and 42.5 field goals. Those are the top three for the Terrapins. On to the Lady Cougars. They are on a four-game losing streak. And they are two and five of the year. They have averaged 16.9 points per game, 39.6 field goal percentage, 27.8 three-point percentage, and 60.3 free throws. And they average 41.4 rebounds per game and 13.3 assists per game. Their lead point per game player is no surprise, Rosalind Seeley, who is the only veteran on the team. She has 14 p- p- point. She has 14 points per game, 58.3 field throw, free throw percentage, 35.4 field goal percentage, and she's missed only 2.2 three, three pointer attempts. The Lady Cougars do not have a lot of three pointers this year. Their leader in three pointers is is Tia Burgess with forty five point five. Raquel Murata and Chevenise che- Millington are the only two players on the team with three pointers. No one else has a three pointer in the year, so that's something GCC really needs to work on. If they're gonna if they're gonna snap this three game losing streak, four game losing streak, and pull off the huge upset. We go around Region 3 right now. <coughs> Scores from yesterday. Yesterday, Jefferson Community College defeated Tompkins Cortland by a score of 67-64. to Fulton Montgomery defeats Skidanity by a score of 60-45. to Cuyahoga Community College defeats Davis Co- loses to Davis College by a score of 77-68. to And we had a game in overtime where Hudson Valley Community College defeats Monroe College, the Bronx, by a score of 94 to 90. Today we have SUNY Adirondack versus Mohawk Valley, Clinton Community College versus the Word of Life Bible Institute, Niagara County Community College versus Jamestown Community College, Erie Community College versus Mercyhurst, and we have Monroe versus Jesse. Erie versus Mercyhurst is also going to play in the men's game, and that's going to be huge. The men's game will be a lot much bigger because GCC and uh, and Monroe currently are the one and two spots. The loser will fall in number in the men's game. The losers will fall in number two, and the winners of Erie and Mercyhurst will will be tied with them for number two. So, and I'm looking for a great. I mean, just need to see a great effort from our Lady Krugers. Go to, to, to team statistics. 
Dartmouth Morrow Community College. They have 843, po 843 points, 84.3 points per game, 28.1 field goals per made per game, 62.7 field goal attempts per game for Monroe, field goal percentage 44.8, three pointers made per game 11.8, three pointer attempt per game 32.2 percent, three pointers per, per game 36. Point six percentage. Free throws made per game 16.3. Free throws attempted per game 22.4. And there's a total of 72.8%. Offensive rebounds 12.1. Defensive rebounds 25.6. Total rebounds per game 37.7. Rebound margin per game net minus 6.4. Assists per game 16.8. Turnovers per game 13.3. Steals per game 9.9. .9. Blocks per game, 2.6. Personal fouls per game, 17.1. Points per game allowed, 70.8. Opponents field goal percentage, 39.3. Points three point percentage, 32.7. And they've been averaging about 500 fans. At home attendance, 500, and an average of 125. On to our Cougars. We have scored 426 points, which is 60.9 points per game. They made twenty three point they made twenty three field field goals out of fifty eight point one attempts, thirty nine point six percent. Three pointers they've made only three point six percent out of twelve point nine percent. Well that's twenty seven point eight percent. That's the stat they need to really need to work on. Free throws made per game eleven point three, field throw attempts per game eleven point seven, which is a total of sixty three sixty point three percent. Sixteen offensive rebounds per game. 25.4 defensive rebounds per game with a total of 41.4. Rebound margin per game, 1.9. Assists per game, 13.3. Turnovers per, per game, 25%. Steals per game, 8.6. Blocks per game, 4. Personal fouls per game, 18.9. Points per game allowed, 71.1. Opponents field goal percentage, 37.2. Opponents Three point percentage twenty six. Nothing on the home attendance according to JazzTheAthletics.com, but we do have some fans here to watch our Lady Cougars. <coughs> so if you have nothing going on right now, please stop by and enjoy some excited basketball. Enjoy this doubleheader between the GCC Cougars and Monroe Community College, both the men and the women's team. Marty and Cal Calvin will be couple calling the action. Oh, that's why that dropped to the floor. Ronnie and Kelvin calling the action, hoping to get to Brockport. You listen to those games at 89.1 fan, listen to 9.7 WGCC. Uh oh. Let's see what else. Listen, that's score on Region 3. As, as I said, G, MCC, MCC is um, A1.70. Vince's University. They beat Mount Community College. Beat Owens, eighty-one to seventy. They beat Vizini's University, eighty-three to eighty. Mercyhurst Northeast, ninety-one percent of fifty-four. Monroe College, seventy-six to sixty-eight. Union College, eighty-two to seventy-two. Eighty-seven to eighty-two. And Niagara Community College, County Community College, by a score of eighty-six to sixty-three. For our Cougars, they are on a losing streak. They lost to Lakeland, one hundred two to fifty-two. Niagara, they lost to Niagara County Community College, 82 to 69. They lost to Cuyahoga Community College, 87 to 61. They lost to Erie Community College by a score of 77 to 62. Their last victory came on November 5th versus Broome Community College, where they won 77 to 29 in dominated fashion. And they also won on the night before on November, November 4th at Corning Community College by a much closer score of 55 to 47. We are three minutes under get underway. You'll see the GCC basketball on 90.7 The Music FM. I am Jonathan Reddy, a.k.a. J-Red. With the board up, Marty and Kelvin with the play-by-play -play and color commentary action. You can check out my show on Tuesday and Thursday mornings right here on 9.7 The Music FM. Yep, we'll be under, right, Marty? We'll be underway in T-minus three minutes, so... 
I hope you folks are excited for this exciting game here on 90.7 The Music FM. In GCC's last game, they lost to Lakewood 102 to 52. They've hit 33.9% of their field goals, which is 21 for 62. They went 3 for 11 in the three pointers, which is 27.3. 7, seven which is 7 to 20. 7 to 20. Which is. They were 7 to 20 on the three pointers, which is 35%. Offensive, they had 38 offensive rebounds, 59 defensive rebounds, 12 total, 36 assists. 12 steals, and a total of 52 points in that game. <coughs> GCC needs a good effort to break this losing streak, just like how the Bills need a good effort to beat the Patriots. We are one minute away from opening tip-off. Well, two minutes, Marty. I was told 5.26 to go live, so... You have listened to GCC... Oh, now it's 5.25 now. One minute away from the opening tip-off here at GCC 9... Point seven, the music FM between the Monroe Community College Terrapins and your Jesse Community College Cougars. Alongside Mari Sakella and Kelvin up here, I am Jonathan Reddy on the board up, getting ready for some exciting basketball action in just 35 seconds. We are 30 seconds away from the opening tip off. <coughs> it's like waiting for New Year's here, folks. We are 25 seconds away from the opening tip off. 20 seconds, folks. I can just feel the excitement. 15 seconds. When we get to 10, I'll do the countdown. 48, 49. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Take it away, Marty and Kelvin. Marvelous countdown into the Grand Gymnasium here inside Genesee Community College in Batavia, New York for your matchup tonight between your Lady Cougars and the MCC Ladies.